Welcome to I Found This Great Book. My name is Curtis, and today we're going to feature another mystery author, and his name is Quay Quarte. Quay is a physician and an author, and he often sets his books in Ghana, and so it brings a different feel, uh, a look at a different country. It's not just U.S.-based, which are So many mysteries that we read are. So Quay has two mystery series. One is a police procedural. It features Detective Inspector Darko Donson. And the books in that series are Wife of the Gods, Children of the Street, Murder at the Cape, Three Points, Gold of Our Fathers, and Death by His Grace. He also has started a new series, a private investigator series, featuring Emma Dijon. The first book in that series is The Missing American. And there's a new book coming out January 12th in that series titled Sleep Well, My Lady. He has another book titled Death at the Voyager Hotel. And this is more of an amateur sleuth type of book. So you have a wide variety of books that Quay has produced. I'm going to read the blurb for Death by His Grace. Catherine Yubo's marriage to Solomon Vanderpuy is all the talk of Accra High Society. But when it becomes apparent that Catherine is infertile, Solomon's extended family accuses her of being a witch, hounding her until the relationship is so soured, Solomon feels compelled to order Catherine out of the house they shared. Alone on her last night there, Catherine is brutally murdered by an intruder. Chief Inspector Daco Dawson of the Guyanese Federal Police has personal as well as professional reasons to find the killer facts. Catherine was the first cousin of his wife, Christine, who is devastated by the tragedy. As Darko investigates, he discovers that many people close to Catherine had powerful motives to kill her, including Solomon, her husband, James, Bestie, and Chill, her lawyer and ex-lover, and her filthy rich pastor, Bishop Clem Howard Mills. In order to expose the truth, Darko must confront the pivotal role religion plays in Ghana and wrestle with its own demons the investigation stirs up. Fascinating. And again, I love it because not only are you going to get a good police procedural, but you get to look at another culture, another country. Very interesting. And so now I want to read the blurb from The Missing American. When her dreams of rising through the Accra police ranks like her late father crash around her, 26-year-old Emma Dijon is unsure what will become of her career. Through a sympathetic former colleague, Emma gets an interview with a private detective agency that takes on cases of missing persons, theft, and infidelity. It's not the future she imagined, but it's her best option. Meanwhile, Gordon Tilson, a middle-aged widower in Washington, D.C., has found solace in an online community after his wife's passing. Through the support group, he's even met a young Guyanese widow he's come to care about. When her sister gets into a car accident, he sends her thousands of dollars to cover the hospital bill, to the horror of his only son, Derek. Then, Gordon decides to surprise his new love by paying her a visit and disappears. Fearing for his father's life, Derek follows him across the world to Ghana, internet capital of the world, where he and Emma will find themselves deep in a world of Sakawa scams, fetish priest, and those willing to kill to protect their secrets. So, Quay Quarty, fantastic writer, 
police procedurals, private investigator, amateur salutes. You get a little bit of everything in his series and his books. Definitely want to check him out. The best place to go is go to the website, and that's quaycorti.com, and I'll spell that out for you. K-W-E-I-Q-U-A-R-T-E-Y dot com. He has a lot of great stuff on his site, including a little podcast where he talks about his life as a doctor and also a writer. You can also go to ifoundthisgreatbook.com slash 107. I have all the books listed there, plus links to his website. Everything's there for you. So you have two great places to go to find the books by this cool author and discover a new world of mystery set in Ghana. Well, until next week, stay safe and have a great reading day.